Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Now, we've got a spoiler video for you. Uh, just an update to the Johnny uh, DiFilippo storyline with Victoria Fuller. We'll get into that in a minute. Before we jump into that, we'll do a preview for tonight's finale of Bachelor in Paradise, which may be, and I know we say this a lot, the most dramatic episode ever. We've seen some spoilers of what may go down tonight. It's really going to come down to, does the do the producers of the show want to show us how bad it actually can get? So we'll get into that in a second. Let's watch a few trailers for tonight's episode. Do you want to get married right now? On the most chaotic... What really showed who you were. Twisty. Was that just not enough? Paradise finale. Are you dating Greg Rippo? Ever. Tonight on ABC and stream on Hulu. They included that. The ring. Hold on. I didn't know they included that in the trailer. Oh, my gosh. Jesse goes, are you dating Greg Grippo? Let's watch another trailer. It all comes down to this. Obviously, I'm nervous, but it's just like take that leap because so much of you wants this. And if it has to be with anyone, I'm so happy it's with Victoria. I'm hands down the luckiest man to walk this earth that I have found serene. Who will find their ever after in paradise? I'm so sorry. Serene. I want to start forever with you. Here it comes tonight. So that'll be tonight. We've got Johnny DiFilippo examining the ring. Very nice stuff there. Let's see if there's any other previews. Here's Wells doing too much. Okay, there's nothing. There's literally nothing. Okay, very good. Very nice. Here's um, yesterday. This is uh, Victoria Fuller saying, I love paradise. And there she is, folks. All right, so let's jump right into it. The story. We have uh, we have uh, Johnny's Instagram story. And then who was Victoria spotted at the hockey game with last night? Let's go to She's All Batch. Of course, this is a spoiler for how tonight's going to go. So if you don't want this information now is your chance to tune away also don't forget hit the subscribe button if you haven't already we appreciate all the new subscribers coming to the channel she's all batch good friends of the program good podcast posted greg and victoria spotted at hockey game last night didn't take pics together but took pics of their drinks together so here's um let's see here here's victoria fuller a photo sitting Front row at a hockey game. I guess they gave up. I guess they were like, you know what? There's a trailer, you know, out saying, are we dating? So here we are. Hey, maybe they're just there as friends. Remember everyone? Uh, maybe they're just in Rome as friends. Maybe they're just at a hockey game as friends. Maybe they're just banging as friends. Maybe they're getting married as friends. You know, maybe they're just friends. Anyway, we're going to have to see how it all plays out. I've got some exclusive information for you I'm going to share at the end of this video in just a couple minutes regarding why Greg decided to join the reunion show Chaos. So we'll get to that shortly. But first, last week, like I'm okay. here is um, uh, Johnny DiFilippo on his Instagram stories. Right here, you can hear some lady in the background talking to him as he films his buddy Logan getting dumped while he's at the gym. He says, working out, and I got to see my boy go home at Logan. Okay, I'm a friend with him, bro. I know it's him. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. So sad. Sad, right? <laughs> so go, well sad, done, right? everyone. We got one more episode left. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Y'all in for a treat, though. Stay tuned. He said, Lucky for you. He said, stuff is crazy. You're in for a treat. See you soon. Should've and we'll crazy. know tonight. Um, we'll, we'll know tonight here. Um, he said, kind of fire, though. What else do we have here? This is Heaven. Logan loves paradise. What a guy. So, jeez, uh, who is this? Is this Logan uh, with the, Rubik, the solved Rubik's Cubes with some uh, barbecue chicken with a red hot sauce? Or is that... I'm not sure if that's Logan or if that's um, Johnny. Either way, we'll have to see how it all plays out with Logan and Johnny. Nothing from Greg Grippo in the comment section. And as we know, this is what we expect to see tonight from Reality Steve's spoiler section. Since the Victoria Johnny Greg triangle is what you guys most want to hear about, I'll give that now and the rest later. Greg Grippo was there. Johnny came out first, then they brought Victoria out to join him, then Victoria and Greg by themselves. Of course, I'm on the record as saying I in no way thought... Greg Grippo was going to show up for this mess. I didn't think he needed it for his PR, but sure enough, he was there. 
Uh, and of course, uh, well, I'll get, I'll get into my thoughts in a second. As expected, it wasn't pretty. Johnny said he and Victoria were in couples counseling for three weeks after filming. Victoria said Johnny called her a stupid you-know-what, and she claimed he told her she didn't cook or clean, so that good. Uh, so what good was she as a woman? Johnny admitted he said things he shouldn't have and that he regretted, but that he never called her that. Johnny said he didn't want to air dirty laundry, but eventually said that Victoria threw a wine glass at him and told him she was out of his league. So very interesting stuff going on there. Victoria and Greg got matching tattoos in Italy. Just wild. We're going to see this tonight. Now, information I received in the last couple weeks was that Greg Grippo, his plan was to be in the audience at the reunion taping. But... Victoria wanted him to talk. You know, she wanted probably some some companionship in the moment on the hot seat and asked him to join her on stage. I don't know if they're going to show this. I don't know if that's exactly what went down. As you know, I've said, look, the only way they get Greg to be a part of this is if they pay them a good amount. My thought was 40, 50 grand. That was just my, my random number to be like, what Is it worth for Greg to go up there and have to deal with a mess that isn't one that he created, really isn't any of his business? For all he knows, Victoria was single when they started dating. Now the question that has, you know, been lingering for literally probably over a month now is where's the overlap? Where's the overlap between Johnny being with Victoria, presumably engaged, as we'll see that tonight, And then Greg coming into the picture, because as we know, it's only a few short weeks between their engagement ending and seeing them having romantic photos in Rome together. Now, you might say the photos themselves weren't romantic, but as we've said before, who goes to Rome with a friend? I don't know. You tell me. Anyone have any friends? Hey, what do you want to do today? Go to the local mall or we could just go to Rome. I don't think so. So we're going to have to see how this all plays out. I just for one more time, I want to hear this this moment where. I just got to watch this one more time where she was asked if uh, she's dating Greg Grippo. Put a ring. Do you want to get married right now? On the most chaotic. What really showed who you were. Twisty. Was that just not enough? Paradise finale. Are you dating Greg Grippo? Ever. <laughs> and then there's Greg picking at his beard. Oh boy, you hate to see it. Look, we like Greg. Greg seems like a good guy. It's just messy. It's a messy situation. Um, let's see some of the comments. Um, so people are saying, oh my gosh, Bachelor in Paradise spoiled the whole thing. Aren't trailers not supposed to tell you what happens? And look, here's the deal. When it comes to trailers, I, I, I know it sucks that they spoil things in the trailers, but if you're going to watch, they're not giving the trailer for you they're giving it to whoever's on the fence you know what I mean that's why whenever I'm like uh, scrolling through trailers at home with my wife if we see a movie if we're watching a trailer we'll try to decide if we want to watch the movie before the trailer's over it's like as soon as we have enough information okay play play the movie we don't need to know anymore we don't need to know that the cabin was actually some crazy scientist monster making facility we don't need to know You know, we don't need to know that the guy was dead all along or that the Titanic was actually, you know, sunk by the the Germans. We don't need to know. Okay. (laughs) Is that that what happened? Ice bog straight ahead. Nay. All right. (laughs) That's it for me. Uh, If you want more content, definitely go check out the uh, Bachelor Rush Hour right there. Bachelor Rush Hour. I'm going to be posting my Dancing with the Stars review plus uh, all other thoughts on Bachelor Rush Hour, the daily Bachelor and Entertainment News podcast. Otherwise, we'll see you for tonight's live stream at 10 p.m. right after the finale ends. See you soon. Bye, guys.